Michael has a condition which affects the circulation of his blood, making wounds difficult to heal and causing blood clots. I think of myself as a young 60, but let me tell you, I could have easily died 23 times in my life. Michael has been receiving services from Bay State Visiting Nurse Association and Hospice since 2009. Several times they helped me avoid a major crisis. One of my nurses, Kristen, literally saved my life. Michael's leg hemorrhaged during a visit and the profuse bleeding threatened his life. Kristen stabilized him, called 911, and then traveled in the ambulance with him to the hospital. All of our patients are unique. Um, I have several wound patients, but every wound is individual as every patient is individual. And one of the best things about working at the VNA is you're not just treating that wound, you're treating the patient and you're taking into consideration their family, their home environment, other obstacles they may have, such as transportation to get to and from doctor's appointments. You really need to look at the whole picture and come at it from a different perspective. It's sometimes hard for me to get around. They take care of many of my medical needs right in my home so I don't need to have to go here and there for outpatient visits. Honestly, if it wasn't for them, I would have had to cancel half of my appointments. They'll often head off problems before they actually present themselves. They'll say, I don't like the way something looks or feels, and place an immediate call to one of the physicians. I think that he is very patient and understands that wounds heal over a very long period of time, and that can be disheartening for anybody, but he handles it so well. The nurses I've had have been outstanding. Catherine's daughter Rachel was born with leukodystrophy, a disease that affects movement, speech, vision, and mental and physical development. Symptoms get worse over time and result in a shortened lifespan. My heart was breaking, my child was dying, and then Melanie came into our lives. Melanie provides care, clinical coordination, and emotional support through the Pediatric Palliative Care Program, the only program of its kind in the area. How can you describe someone who does everything? Melanie assesses Rachel, checks her oxygen level, her stats, asks me what's been going on, what do I need? Melanie stepped in at just the right time. She's a joy and inspiration and encouragement Anything I ask her, she gets right to it. They give me a lot of inspiration. They're a family of faith and hope in a time of many uncertainties. My goal in the palliative care is to help them hold on to that hope, to live a life of joy with their child and their, their family, as well as to help prepare them for the worst. Melanie just has a way about her. She's the sweetest person but she is forceful when it comes to ensuring my child has the care and resources she needs. To be able to stay at home and receive care for my child, that's tremendous. My child can't sit up or roll. If I had to go out and bring her to all these appointments, I couldn't do it. Receiving care in our home, it's a blessing. At age 84, Howard was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. It was his wish to be at home for his remaining days. Bay State Visiting Nurse Association and Hospice made that possible. I don't think you realize the need for it until you're living it. It's not just the physical care that the hospice nurses provide, but it's the emotional support. My dad's nurse, Amy, was the one person he could talk to about anything. He could tell her stories about his life and ask the hard questions. Is this normal? What's happening to me? What I remember most about Howard was his smile and how despite the weight he lost from the cancer, when he smiled, it lit up the whole room. My dad's nurses, Amy and Elizabeth, were only ever just a phone call or a text away. And they gave us information often before we even knew we needed it. Without them, we would have been lost. When he couldn't leave his bed and he wanted to see outside, they moved the bed out to the living room with more windows. Everything he wanted, they made happen and they gave him peace. Hospice was like family. When the moment came when my father was leaving us, it was our hospice nurse that recognized that, so we could gather around Dad. It's because of people like Howard, Howard and his girls, that I can continue to do the work that I do. 
it humbles me to be able to spend this intimate time with patients and their families and to help guide them through the process of dying. I get far more than I could ever give doing the work that I do and it's a blessing.